the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Three players, one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts, and I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's World Championship Games, let's go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Yo, Mo! Hello Mike, here's a look at the standings. Mexico is looking to grab its fifth gold medal while Portugal and Spain look to keep pace. Let's get underway and find out who'll grab today's gold. Mike? We're gonna go, Mo, and you know, folks, they are slam dunking in Boston, Berlin, Barcelona, but nowhere do they slam dunk like they do in the extreme arena. Folks, our players will be jumping up on these elastic sports fantasies, going high sky, thunder dunking, little aerial sports. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, players will grab a basketball, jump off the aerial bridge, bounce up and shoot. They'll have 60 seconds to score as many baskets as possible, and baskets only count if they are shot after the player has touched the ground. On your mark, get set. All right, and with that whistle, our first event is underway, and all three of our players going up strong, purple and red scoring on the first one. That's Julia off the backboard in hand for two. Or should I say one? Oh, and Red having trouble. And Purple. That's Mario. He has three. He's in the lead as Red goes up with a thunder dunk and scoring his third. Off the rim in blue is Julia. But Mario going up strong. He's got his fourth basket. He's tied with Red for the lead. Blue with three. Oh, and with the tomahawk. Blue. But Purple on the lead with six. Going up strong. That's Mario seventh. Red the backboard with five 16 seconds left blue and purple both scoring purple with eight red with six blue a little funky shot there red going up strong with seven but purple way up front with ten as time runs up, going up backwards was Julia and that was nice work let's go to Mo and find out the results Mo Mario took first place, scoring 10 baskets. Bruno took second place, scoring 7 baskets. Julia took third place, scoring 5 baskets. Starting off quick, the Spanish gazelle, Julia, doing an aerial jungle twist off the rim with the shot. She's dejected as she gets back up to the bridge because she was watching the main man, Mario the Quick, with his little thunder dunk schnick. First place points for our man in purple. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard, Mo. Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points, and that goes to Mario from Mexico. Second place, 200 points, goes to Bruno from Portugal. And third place worth 100 points goes to Julia from Spain. And remember, the player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And now it's time to beat a Spanish machine with the gold medal dream. You've seen it before. Julia, the gazelle, spill your guts. Hi, I'm Julia Maceda and I'm from Spain. My three favorite sports are swimming, tennis, and especially basketball. I like basketball because it's a team sport and I love driving through the defense. Great athletes are self-confident, team players, and must be in excellent physical condition. 
event, the Extreme Arena has been transformed into a cataclysmic world for our post-nuclear race Mad Max. Our players will be rolling down the ramp. After they roll down that ramp, they'll be jetting through the junkyard and then making a turn as they have to jam over the jumps. After they make then their third turn, they then go through Pothole Pass and make a final turn as they destroy the dead end for the finish. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Mike, players will race around the track, making sure to go through each obstacle. Time penalties are assessed for any infractions. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Rolling down the ramp, hopefully with a quick start. They gotta stay on that track. And Julia is up first and get some speed. Let's see how she does over the jumps. Oh, maintaining control, not going off the track. And picking up speed as she makes it through pothole pass again. Not slipping off the track, she's maintaining form and coming through across the line. She's got to cross that yellow and black line for the finish. Let's go to Mo for the official time for the gazelle. Julia clocked in at 21.3 seconds, Mike. So maintaining control as she takes her helmet off, looks up at the clock. She'll relax and rest as our next two players get up and take the rolling ramp. Looks like the bruiser. He's from Portugal. He's up next and he has... 200 points, he's in second place, so 21.3 is the time to beat. Looks like the Bruiser's ready. On your mark, get set. The Bruiser putting a little black and blue on Mad Max and picking up the pace as he makes over the jumps, steering over with fine form. But a little lackadaisical in pothole pass, he's gonna have to pick up the pace, destroying the dead end. Through. It doesn't look like he will make it as the cinder block slowing down the back tire hurt the bruiser bruising his time. We'll go to Mo for the official time. Mo. Bruno clocked in at 24.2 seconds. Bruno. B. B the bruiser. Bruiser. And up next will be in the purple Mario the quick. 21.3 the time to be. On your mark. Get set. Yeah! Mario in first place with 300 points. He wants another first place finish. His nickname is The Quick, and indeed he got a quick start and making it right through with no problem. Attacking Pothole Pass. If he destroys this, he'll have first place points. Mario, The Quick, across. Let's go to Mo. Mario's time was 19.8 seconds, so Mario takes first place. Julia takes second place, and Bruno takes third place. So Bruno got bumped up in the jumps. As you can see, losing a little bit of time. It's his Mad Max Mobile went off to the side. He lost precious seconds, but you can't mess around when the quick's in town. Mario the quick coming through the dead end. Boom! Turning that cement block in quicksand into the first place finish. Let's check out the leaderboard, Mo. Mario from Mexico is still in the lead with 600 points. And tied in second place with 300 points each, Julia from Spain and Bruno from Portugal. Well, kick your feet up, get your shoes off. We got more to come. Just two events down. We got Scrumble coming back. You come back. Welcome back to Global Guts. Three players battling out for the goal, but right now trying to meet a Portuguese ace. Going after first place. Time to spill your guts. Hi, my name is Bruno Mendes, and I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. I like soccer, but tennis is my favorite sport. It's fast-paced, it makes you think, and it's exciting. My favorite athlete is tennis player Arantxa Sanchez because he thinks fast and plays great. To win Global Guts, you have to be prepared mentally and physically and have lots of strength. Well, that's Bruno the Bruiser, and folks, he better be ready to rumble rugby style. It's scrumble. Our players will be pushing and pulling and mauling and crawling and hopefully... Scoring. Let's go back to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, players will grab as many loose rugby balls as possible. The player with the most goals in their most balls in their goal at the end of 60 seconds is the winner. On your mark, get set. With that whistle, the competition begins in the story here. 
as blue scores one and red scores one. Our leader in purple with a perfect score at this point is Mario in first place, but the gazelle scoring another one. This Mario, he had 600 points. He's way out in front. Our two other players are tied with 300, so they need, really need to get back in the game and team up and beat Mario in scrumble. And an efficient gazelle running fast. Oh, Mario with the score, throwing that win in. Now our players need to decide whether or not they're gonna throw it in or pick it up and run it all the way back in as the gazelle there in red. The Bruiser scoring another, another two. And so as time runs out, it looks to be that the Bruiser and the Gazelle in blue are ganging up on Mario in purple indeed. And they could take victory as Mario throws another one and it scores. And the Gazelle scoring another one. As the buzzer sounds, we'll go to Mo. Mario came in first place with 13 goals and Julia and Bruno tied in second place with 12 goals each. So Mario, quick turn into Mr. Magic, and here the gazelle. We should change her nickname to Fargan Basement because three for the price of one. We had a fire sale going on on Scrumble Balls. Three of her 12, she tied for second with this young man, Mr. Bruce. Set the control button on Cruise. Two for the price of one. He got 12 also. Let's check out the leaderboard now, Mo. Mario from Mexico is still in the lead with 900 points. And tied still in second place with 500 points. Julia from Spain and Bruno from Portugal. So we're into the thick of it after Scrumble. Our next stop, Zero G. But first, we're going to get to know better this Ultimo from Mexico. Hey, Mario, the quick. Time to spill your guts. Hi, I'm Mario Badola from Mexico City. I play street hockey, but I prefer baseball. I play catcher and second base. This is a drawing of a traditional Mexican celebration in December. There's a lot of singing and hitting of the piñata. My favorite athlete is Roberto Alomar, because he's the best second baseman. Our competition has gone global, but this next event is truly out of the world in zero G. Our players running the rigors of this race through space horizontally. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the zero G course. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, but getting the race around, it's Julia the Gazelle going up and over the first hurdle and staying horizontal around the edge of nothing. Getting a toe hold on the turf again. She's setting a fantastic pace with big strides and coming across the finish line with the beautiful time. She mastered the horizontal motion of that race. Defying gravity will go to Mo and see what her time was. Mo. Julia clocked in at 17.5 seconds. They don't call Julia the gazelle for nothing. She was out like a flash in that first time and around that first hurdle. So she has set the time to beat. She set the pace. She's tied for second with 500 points with our next player, Bruno the Bruiser. Let's see if he can battle the zero G track. Looks like he's ready. On your mark, get set. The Bruiser. Setting in for a little zero G race and also over the first hurdle. Jump nothing comes swinging it around. Oh! Put his hand down on the turf. He's gonna have to pick it up. 17.5, the time to beat it. You can see, doesn't look like he's gonna get it. But he's still gonna finish that race. Because Mario the Quick, our perfect score leader, is up next as Bruno the Bruiser steps off the aerial bridge. We'll go to Mo and find out what his official time was. Bruno's time was 21.7 seconds. So the Bruiser not able to beat the Gazelle's fast, fast time. He'll uh, sit back and uh, Mario the Quick is getting set in the harness next. If he beats 17.5 people and the score is official, he will have a perfect score of 1,200 going into the Super Agro Craig. It looks like he's ready. He's got a perfect game on the line. On your mark, get set. They call him the Quick and off the stick immediately. Is this madman Mario from Mexico? The 
This young man is fearless and around it. In about nine seconds, he's going to have to pick up the pitch. He wants victory. He wants the perfect score. What will it be? Let's go to ball. Mario's time was 16.8 seconds, so Mario takes first place, Julia takes second place, and Bruno takes third place. Portugal's bruiser at the edge of nothing. He could have taken it, but the nothingness stumbled his race. Had to regain his composure, but it wasn't enough because Mario the Quick, look at this man, he was flying. Getting the drip, believe, going over. And coming across the finish line, hurtling towards first place. Only like 0.7 seconds between him. I talked to him yesterday. Here's what he had to say. Climbing the crag tomorrow, you're going to need a lot of speed. How do you feel being here at Global Guts representing Mexico? I feel privileged to be here because I'm representing Mexico, which is number one, and I'm going to win tomorrow. Can you say, do you have it in Spanish? Tú lo tienes. Guts! Mario's got a perfect score on the line. Let's check out the leaderboard, Mo. That's right, Mario from Mexico is in the lead with 1,200 points. In second place is Julia from Spain with 700 points. In third place, Bruno from Portugal with 600 points. Things are far from over. We have four minutes down, but can our players tackle the crowd? Folks, the crag coming up. Points have skyrocketed. 375 for third, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's go to Mo. See where we stand, Mo. After four events, Mario from Mexico is in the lead with 1,200 points. In second place is Julia from Spain with 700 points. And in third place with 600 points is Bruno from Portugal. That's where they stand. Here's how they got there. We start off with a little slam dunk. The Bruiser, bruising the rim on this one. Right in with Mario the Quick with the stick right through for his first first place finish. We get into Mad Max and rocking and rolling was Julia. But maintaining control, she came in for a second place finish in Mad Max, but first again went to Mario Andretti. At least it was like Mario Andretti in that one. We go on a little scrumble, rugby, global gut style. Julia, yeah, through the legs, coming in, pushing, pulling, mauling, crawling, sticking it in for the win, and a victory again with the dish, with the toss, the quick with another one, and then back into a little zero G. Bruno the Bruiser hitting the turf, getting a little shook up on the zero G scene. Coming back strong for a little victory, his fourth First place finish, Mario the Quick. So ladies and gentlemen, a perfect score on the line as we enter the Super Aggro Crag. Used to be the Aggro Crag, then it evolved into the Mega Crag. Now the Super Aggro Crag. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll on top of our players. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give you my mo. Woo! Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title and global guts glory. Let's get it started. Kick it off, Bo. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, 
they begin the climb up Boulder Canyon, leading to the first actuator. The Extreme Arena wants action, and Mayo, mayhem on the mountain is what they're gonna get. Smoke, snow, rumbling rocks, a treacherous climb, a perfect game on the line for Mario in purple. There he is, if he gets to the top of the crack first, he will have global guts, perfect score, glory for no, it's blue the top, dead red. Blue, dead red, dead purple, let's go to on the Super Agro Cragulia from Spain. In second place, Bruno from Portugal. And in third place, Mario from Mexico. Tough to have a perfect game when a gazelle is in the competition. And looking back with Julia the gazelle, she want to make sure she got a fancy footwork, knocking that next actuator, and then the boulders trying to slow her down before she got to the ice wall, but she pushed through. It was a three-way tie at the ice wall. The suffering sheet of snow trying to blind our players. Up first, the gazelle got the bruiser, and then the quick in purple locking in third. What a finish. Let's go to Mo for the final leaderboard standings. Mo. Here it is, Mike, an exceptional super aggro crag that decided pretty much everything today. In third place, Bruno from Portugal with 1,150 points. In second place, Julia from Spain with 1,425 points. Our winner today, Mario from Mexico with 1,575 points. And so representing Three players come here to Global Guts. The bronze will go to Bruno the Bruiser Mendez. Here's a shot of him going sky high and slam dunk. The silver will go to Spain's Gazelle. Julia Maceda getting up the super aggro crag first. This fine young lady take back the silver. And the Global Guts go. We'll go to Mario the Quick, and he's got a big old grin on his face. You are now hearing Mexico's national anthem. This man won four events. It was his stellar performance that enabled him to hold that rock high above his head and show everyone in the extreme arena that Mario the Quick, Madoya, came to the extreme arena and came back number one. Yeah, boy. Way to rock and roll. Their coaches giving them their respective countries' flags. They will take a nice little trip around the track so the Extreme Arena can see them up close and personal and shout their way back to the metal platform. Kisses and hugs and high fives from mom and dad and mom. Big hug for the bruiser. Ah, oh, folks, nothing beats being a kid on Global Guts. I'm Mike O'Malley, no ifs, ands, or buts. These kids got guts. Do you have it? Reebok gear, available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids.